Hi guys, it's Connie here from Say It With Simplicity, and today I wanted to take you through a quick tutorial about the detach lines function in your modify panel. Now your modify panel is here, object, modify, and you have some different options like weld, intersect, subtract, crop, subtract all, divide, and detach lines. And the one that I want to talk about here is this detach lines and how does it work. So we're going to go to a text here. This text is called uh, Midfield. I got it off of Creative Fabrica and it's a distressed font and so it's kind of a fun one. It looks a little sporty. I did remove or um, release the compound path and got rid of the distressing marks on the inside of it for the purpose of this video. But what I want to do first here is to go ahead and let's change our line color to black. And I have our line style um, panel open. You can also change the colors here. Um, we're also going to be using our line thickness um, part of this panel. And I'm going to go ahead and you can either do it here or up here, but I'm going to highlight this and I'm going to put in 12. And you can see what this does. It actually bumps up the line thickness. Now, if you were to send this to um, your panel to be cut, you would have, whoops, let's go back to the send panel. You can see that the line is in the center of um, the thick line. You can cut the edge and that'll take it all the way out to the thick lines, but um, otherwise this is just lines. It's these lines aren't really any thicker than um, they were, but you can cut to the edge of those thick lines, if that makes sense. Maybe if I do this, it'll explain it a little better. Let's go ahead and let's try to save this as an SVG. So I'm going to go to File, Save As to my hard drive and I'm going to save it as an SVG and let's go to hello and I had done one before I'm just going to overwrite it click OK and so now um, I'm going to go to file merge let's find our hello SVG and let's open that up and you can see that it's not, doesn't look like this at all, right? But let's go ahead and select this, go to Object, Modify, Detach Lines. And when you go to the Send panel, if you have Cut chosen, let's zoom in here, you can see that those um, cut lines either way are right out to the edge of that lettering. So it basically expanded those um, into those lines when when they were thickened. So let's go ahead and go to File, Save As, Save to Hard Drive, um, we'll go to our SVG, we're going to choose that Hello again and overwrite it. Sorry about that, I should have turned that sound down. Um, so let's go to, let's put these two together down here. Let's go to File, Merge, and Hello. I should have gotten rid of the one. But you can see that this comes in as an SVG with the outline. Let's ungroup that. And you can change 
this to any color you want from your fill panel. So really what you've done is taken and expanded those lines, like I said, out into the thickened lines, and now you can create your own sort of like an outlined letter font. Whereas with the other one, you're just left with, excuse me, with this here. So I hope that makes sense to you. That's the way that you can, one way that you can use those detached lines in Silhouette Studio. If you have any questions or comments about this technique, you can leave them down below. I'd um, love to hear from you. So thanks for stopping by today, and I hope that you have a wonderful day, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye now.